Hey, hey, yes, greetings, beloved. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Um, so we good or? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good right now. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, cause I know early. Yeah, yeah I know earlier. Um, you were in a, a in a jam. Um, in any event, what what's your sign actually? I don't know. For some reason, I'm picking up. You know what? I I really really you know when you meet somebody and you feel like I known you. You know, I know this person from before. I don't know. It just feels like um your spirit feels very um you know uh welcoming or rather it feels like very um innocent. Um, and in the event, where where uh where, what's your sign? Oh, what? <laughs> let me tell you something. This this whole week, I've been channeling for Libras. What? Which? That's probably why. This whole week, I've been channeling for Libra. Yesterday, Libra was nine twenty six. The day before, Libra was ten seventeen. Um, uh, and the other one was ten twenty three. Um, just so many Libras. Ten seven, ten two. Um, you guys are just, I don't know. And the last Libra said to me, it is because you, we, I am being attracted to Libras because she, I know that your scales or the scales of the Libras need to be balanced. But in any event, yeah. uh-huh. In any event, the reason why I asked, um, is because the first thing that's coming up with you, um, is the color purple vibration and with this what your spirit guys are saying is higher consciousness. He has to elevate or rather he has to resonate with the higher divinity inside of him. I'm definitely picking up like um a resurrection or rather an Osiris um energy with you dealing with, you know, you know when people lie to you, you know, and you're finding out the truth um in any event and the truth is yeah. only uh uh-huh, the truth is only helping you to get to the you know the divinity in you i'm definitely seeing what your spirit guides are showing me that you are um in transition of i guess what is known as the rite of passage or rather you know going into like the brotherhood or the priesthood um in any event because you're being crowned or rather you're wearing like this white robe and this white robe um what they're saying is is for purity and also for truth so I'm not sure if it's a situation where you have not been um, honest to others or others have not been honest to you, but the truth is definitely going to be revealed, and this is what you have to deal with. Now, one thing... <laughs> Not a problem. What was the last thing you heard me say? Um, you was you were speaking about uh, you were speaking about uh, the truth. You were saying that um, yeah. So you were basically okay. saying that. Mhm. Yeah. Well, so basically, um, what this, uh, what basically again. Um, what I'm picking more so of, uh-huh, is that um, what they're saying is, and again, your spirit guides are going to begin to tell me or your spirit guides are telling me things about you from the past, present, and future. So this could be a situation right now or rather in the past where people have lied to you or you have not been too trust, you know, uh, you know, truthful to others because in any event, what they're saying is the truth has now been revealed and it is the emotional response that you are now now dealing with so basically you you know when people lie to you so I don't know how you deal with that in any event so it might hurt you or rather it might make you stronger you know it might make you be like oh I you know I'm thankful that this this has been revealed um in any event so yeah, so moving forward, you definitely want to deal with um the throat chakra. Um is what they're saying. The color blue is definitely resonating with you right now. So we're dealing with speaking the truth, we're dealing with harmony, we're dealing with balance, we're dealing with prosperity, we're dealing with inner truth. Um in any event, so they're saying, "Listen, tell him to go into deep meditation and ask the universal creator to reveal nothing but the truth." So definitely truth is coming up. Um, with you and it makes sense because as you just uh you know confirmed that you are a Libra and Libra 
deals with the principles of Mayad. Um, what what are you October or September? Uh, se- September the thirtieth. Oh, September the thirtieth. Okay, yeah, the number three, mind, body, and soul, balance. Um, in any event, and then you have the number nine, which nine is the number that is closest to God. So in order for you to res, you know, resurrect or rather resonate with the divinity in you, you have to, you know, align yourself or rather visualize this color vibration, this purple color vibration, in order for that pineal gland, you know, to open up and you can see the truth or you can see what people, you know, those that have been what they're saying is taking advantage of you. In any event, you can see. Right Right through them. I don't know if you have those gifts now or you are able to pick that up now, but this is what they're saying to me in order for you to, you know, basically screen people um, or rather those that will be coming to you in the near future. Um, in any event, I'm definitely seeing your hands being put in your pocket. I don't know what you're spending your money on, but you need to balance, you know, you need to, you know, be mindful of who you, you know, give your money to. You know, because everybody is not generous. Um, in any event, you have children, or you dealing with a, you know. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, still. Yeah. Are you in a relationship? Uh yeah yeah actually yeah. <laughs> you said actually yeah. Okay. Um. You know, it's one of those you know up and down you know like. <laughs> Oh. One of those open down relationships. Okay. So let me ask you, Calvin. Um, is there a situation with you know sometimes money issues or financial issues or someone asking for too um, much or? Well, actually, it's crazy you say that because uh, actually, like right now, well, right now, you know, I'm the only one working. And, mm. My, my fiance, you know, she, you know, she's not, well, actually, she hasn't been working for the longest. Yes. You know, and, you know, we try to have our discussion back and forth about, you know, her uh, trying to, you know, get up on her feet and stuff like that. But, you know, I can only do so much, you know, I can just tell them and, you know. Right. She want to, you know, she don't want to listen, you know, it's not really much I can do, but just tell them. Indeed. Exactly. And and with the the main thing that you said, I can only tell her but what so much. So you expressing yourself deals with the throat chakra, deals with the color blue. Um, in any event. So I'm saying this to say the reason why I asked you about the financial thing, which you just confirmed that, you know, it you're the only uh main provider is because I, I, I seen your hand, your hand keeps going in your pocket. So it's like it's taken away, it's taken away, or rather you're giving, 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 giving. So again, and you know, it could it that also can be looked upon as, you know, listen, you on a budget. You know what I mean? Because you're supporting, you know, your 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 mate and then you also have children that you're also supporting. So you're basically the main provider, but what they're saying is tell him just to be mindful. Um, you know, perhaps, you know, your wife or, you know, your your mate in any event, perhaps she will get um a job if she desires, but you cannot force anything on anybody else if she is not willing or she is not ready or if you are spoiling her or whatever or making her feel comfortable then you have to step back from that situation and do for yourself because it don't make no sense for you to try to encourage a grown or rather another adult to want to do better for him for herself or himself that don't even make no sense you got children that you have to be mentally, physically, and spiritually uh, balanced for. And, you know, the emotional, um, and that's why they, they kept saying about, you know, you being truthful, you being honest, or, you know, that emotional response. Because in any event, beloved, um, you know, you definitely want to align yourself, you know, to, to be, you know, your highest good or align yourself with the, the God in you. Um, and again, many people come into this, you know, many people come into this at a later age than a soon, than sooner. It's all good because you have to go through these different uh, steps and process to know your worth. 
um, in any event, or rather to feel like, you know what, enough is enough. I want to do for myself now. And as you do for yourself, believe me, what they're saying is your life will change holistically. Um, in any event, do you have children with this woman that you're with? Yeah, yeah, actually I have two. Okay. I have two boys. Yeah, this is who I'm seeing, yeah. Okay, this is who I'm seeing. Okay, what's what's up with her mom? Uh, her mom, like what? Like what you mean? <laughs> what's the relationship that they have with like each other? Was, uh, oh, the relationship that her that she had with her mom? Yes. Uh, well, the relationship she had with her mom is kind of they have a good relationship, but uh, to be honest, I. Um, it's hard, it's hard for me to say. It's, well, it's coming up. They have a good relationship <laughs> now. Yeah, they have a good relationship now, but I think as, you know, as she was coming up, it wasn't uh, so much of a good relationship, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Because it's coming up. It's coming up in this reading. Um, your spirit guides is just telling me about your, you know, your, your children's mom. Um, and then the event, and what they're saying is, ask, ask him about her mother. Ask him about his her mother, and he'll tell you. Um, so I don't know if, you know, she may be even going through, you know, certain things where she wasn't raised um, a certain way. You know, sometimes when people aren't raised a certain oh, way, yeah. they... Yeah, so this is so what I'm... Oh, yeah. Exactly. So we're getting down to the bottom line of certain things. So, again, beloved... I don't see why you, I do see why you, you know, you react a certain way towards your children's mother. But then again, you got to sit down and have these, what I call spirit talk with yourself and really dissect what is happening in your, in you know, your external environment. You're dealing with somebody that perhaps had lots of, you know, trauma or, you know, emotional, uh, you know, dissatisfaction or emotional pain growing up. How do you think that she will be, you know, reacting towards you or treating you? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's true. Cause you understand? Right now, I'm kind of at that point. That's, I say that's true, too, because right now I'm at, I'm at that point where I kind of be, I kind of ask myself, you know, well, uh, you know, I, I, I understand her situation, you know, and what she's been through growing up and everything. So I kind of, sometimes I kind of have to catch myself with it. But some of the things I might say, or, you know, sometimes I might say something, you know, that'll, that'll be, you know, that'll, that'll blow everything up, so... That's, that's where the, tr remember when I spoke to you about truth, you being trustworthy or you being the truth or somebody, you know, you know, with honesty, um, in any event, or you, you know, or not being honest, um, that's yeah. where, that is where the scales are being tipped at, right? Your about your scales, your Libra scales. Now, instead of allowing, instead of allowing somebody else to take you out your zone, you gotta, you gotta quiet, you gotta quiet yourself down. You have to resonate with the, the God in you, because to the extent that somebody takes you out your zone is to the extent that they disrupted your harmony, and nobody should have that much power yeah. over you. This is what I'm speaking in. in uh, this is what I'm speaking about in terms of resurrecting with the Osiris energy in you. This is what I'm talking about when I'm speaking about the color purple vibration, royalty, divinity. You see, you know, dealing with you know higher centers. Um, in any event, dealing with the cosmic. So instead of you allowing somebody to tip your scales, you have to center yourself. Where where I spoke to you about the throat chakra, right? So this is lessons for you to move forward in your spiritual growth. It's coming up. Yeah. It's definitely that, it's definitely yeah, coming that, up. It's coming up. Yeah, and actually, you know, it's good to say that because I actually been trying, I actually kind of been trying that. And in a way, I see that it, it, it kind of works, you know, uh, yeah. with me trying to get uh, control of myself, you know, uh, not giving somebody else that much power today because you know, like you can't take me off my square, you know, or have that much control over me to where they can, you know, probably do something to, you know, to take me off. Listen, my love. So I kind of been... Yeah, listen, my love. At this time, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, you know, I'm gonna speak to you, sister to brother, right? 
Forget all of that stuff. I'm gonna speak to you, sister, the brother. It's two that it, we 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 in a new we in an age of awakening and spiritual growth. Okay. Now yeah. you have you have the choice to rather react or not to react. You have the choice to give your energy or to not give your energy. We are in the times of spiritual enlightenment. All of these people or people or loved ones that are not within your highest vibration, you need to let them go. If this is a continuous thing, if this is a continuous habit that is disturbing your peace and disturbing your ascension, you have to make that sacrifice. Because you're gonna get, you're gonna be sleep, you're gonna be sleep, you're gonna be dumbed down, chromatose, and dead. Real talk, spiritually, yeah, spiritually, brother. Okay, so I'm only saying this to say that this is our sister. Well, this is my sister. That's my beloved sister. I will claim that you know she finds peace and harmony and you know healing because I am sensing like your spirit guide said I am sensing that there is a situation with her and her even starting with her mom so she's dealing with a lot of childhood issues but this is where this is where it comes in that you can't heal her she has to heal herself yeah yeah when we <laughs> when we talking about the same uh, it's powerful, right? So let me tell you, when we talk, you know how some people be like, Jesus Christ is going to come back to say, ain't no Jesus Christ coming to save us. We got to save ourselves. And you, Calvin, you got to save yourself too. Yeah. Uh, that, that's crazy. <laughs> I, 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 think, I be saying this sometimes, but I don't think I actually put it to use, you know, I, I kind of be saying it in my, in my, in myself a lot, but I don't think I actually, like I say, put it to you. So I really put too much. I don't think about it that much, you know. So I, that's powerful, you know. I, I need, I need to hear that too. Well, that's that's why you, that's why your spirit aligns you know, itself with me. That's that's the reason why. Cause when you get a session with Ella, you are gonna hear nothing but the truth. That's it, you know, because. Yeah. All I'm about is ascending or, uh, you know, helping my clients, you know, to ascend. That's all I want you to do is ascend. I want you to understand what is happening to you. I want you to understand the reactions. I want you to understand that you have control of your environment. I want you to understand that our family members at times will bring us down. I want you to understand that you are the creator of your reality. And I want you to understand that you are the only one to provide yourself with this universal love and these universal blessings. I want you to understand that. You understand? So, or rather, overstand or understand. So, the main fact that the first thing that came up with you, you get what I'm saying, is resurrecting or resonating with that Osiris energy. I'm more so feeling like you have been, or rather, you're you're caught up with, you know, the physical and the spiritual meaning. You want to ascend, however, you're still caught in physical activities or physical experiences as a Libra. As a Libra, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. you know, but again, my love, it's, it's challenging. Why? Because this is the mother of your children, your, your two boys that you love more than anything in this whole wild world. I understand that, you know, but then it's a situation where, all right, if my boy, if I'm not okay, how am I going to be, you know, the father that I really want to be for my boys? How am I going to, re you know, resurrect the Osiris energy in my kid or in my children if their mother is is messing with me or is disturbing me? Yeah, true. Yeah, true that. Yeah. Yeah, and and um, and you say uh, the color purple. Uh, you say I will have to, I will have to meditate with that, with that color. Yes, visualize visualizing this purple, you know, aura around you. Right. Visualizing this like purple, rather, I'm seeing rather lavender purple or rather that royal purple. Um, when you close your eyes, just visualize this color purple just surrounding your whole aura field. 
once you once you see that, once you visualize this color purple around your aura field, that will begin to, you know, awaken or rather open up your pineal gland. Where now, like I said to you before, you're going to be able to see through people. Instead of seeing people, just the physical or the cover, you're going to see through the cover as you grow. Yeah. As you grow. And that will give you a sense of closure. That will give you a sense of peace because you know what? It's all good. You get what I'm saying? Because once you know, once you know better, you feel better. But in order for you to feel better, you got to know better. And you got to be content with what your spirit is showing you. So your spirit guides is giving me this recommendation for you to visualize you know, this purple, this purple color. And that's why they, they, they show that you, you know, they, they put that white coat over you, the white coat, the white coat is dealing with priesthood transition from, from one, you know, emotional situation to the next learning, learning from it and just growing from it. Okay. Okay. And, and what about ancestors? Any, uh, we're gonna to get to that, but what is her sign? Oh, her sign. Uh, she's a Scorpio. Oh. Oh. That's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and let me tell you something, my love. Um, Scorpios is the sign of you know intimacy, um, family, um, you know, uh money, you know, in any event, they are good um, business partners, but I find that when scorpions have, you know, let me tell you, I find that when scorpions don't have a good childhood, um, they have a lot of trust issues, you see, um, they're not stable, or they don't have, they don't feel like they're secured as an adult, so they're always picking, or rather, always searching for issues to, 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 you know, to, to just start some shit. You get what I'm saying? You know, just start, just start something up, you know, in any event. So, so I'm, I'm just, I thought, honestly, I thought she was going to say Pisces because then I would have been very apologetic because I'm a Pisces, but she's, 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 she's a fellow water sign. So I understand now. You understand? You gotta deal with who she is, and you have to deal. If you ha and you have to also understand her as a Scorpio. She's very sensitive, very sensitive woman. You understand everything that, even if she feels that you're lying to her, she's gonna go hard for it. You know, if things is not sitting right with her, she's gonna go hard for it. She's like an investigator. You know, only because, only because her herself, she hasn't healed her herself from that security that was supposed to have been given to her from childhood. So she's dealing with a lot of childhood issues. Okay. She's dealing with a so she's dealing with a lot of childhood issues. Um in any event. Give me a second. Um where you from? You you from um we said Louisiana, right? Mm. Your grandparents yeah. is from Louisiana too. Uh, you say grandpa? Grand, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, actually, my whole family is from uh, Louisiana. Okay, let me ask you: Was your because I see I see uh, a married couple here, um, but I feel like they uh, it could be your grandparents, um, but I do see a grandpa first, um. In any event, but the grandpa or your uh, the man here has a wife with him, so I don't know who, you know, if it's your great grandmother or your grandpa, your grand your grandparents that was married up until you know they made the transition, um. But there's two, there's a set of grandparents here for you, um. Yeah. Give me a second. And what they're saying, oh, you, uh, were you the baby? Are you the baby? Or you're the only child? Or the first one? Um, well, actually, I have a, I have a brother. Uh, I have a brother, older brother, but I'm the baby boy. 
Oh, you're the baby. Okay, yeah, you're the baby. Okay, that's why they're talking to me like that. Okay, so you're the baby. Yeah, it's rather you're the baby or you're the first child. The way they, because it's like, you know, I just want him to do good. That's what the, 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 the um, you know, the messages are. And again, it's two, it's two ancestors here. And I'm feeling more so like it could be your great grandmother um, and her husband or, you know, your grandparents um, in any event. So, you know, but they're together. Um, and what they're saying is they just want you to do good. Um, in any event, give me a second. Your house, you don't have like, um, you, it's not, it's not set up in a spiritual way. Do you have an um, altar? Again. Do you have an altar? Um, uh, no, actually, no, I don't, I don't. You want to, you want to go, you, all right, give me a second. You want to go, do you know where your grandfather and your grandmother was buried? Um, actually, I don't, but I know, uh, yeah, actually, I don't, but I, I can, there's nothing to find out, I can find out. You want to bring them some flowers. You just want to bring them some flowers, you know, for acknowledgement or recognition or you know, just help, you know, allowing them, or rather, you know, just giving back in a sense, you know, like, please open the doors for me to, to find truth, or rather, you know, to help me to make decisions, you know, because I'm definitely picking up, like, you being indecisive um, at times in terms of what it is that you want to do, um, dealing with the matter of the heart. So, because your grandparents was with each other, or, you know, this couple here was with each other for a very very long time, they can definitely guide you um, in that way. So in any event, you want to give them some uh, um, flowers, and they also ask them for gumbo soup, um, you know, for some type of soup um, in any event. And I'm, and I'm hearing gumbo, huh? Yeah, some gumbo. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, I'm hearing that. Yeah. Do you do okay. you do you drink yeah. do you eat gumbo soup? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh, you love it. Oh, okay. What is that? What is that exactly? What it? What is it? What is that? Gumbo uh, soup. Gumbo. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just uh, a Louisiana um yeah, it's just like a Louisiana soup, you know. It's got a lot of you know a lot of seafood in it. Oh. It's, it's basically a seafood soup. Oh, oh, it's like a C. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then, yeah. Well, oh, okay. Well, that's coming up. Um, some flowers, some soup, um, gumbo soup. Um, you want to do it, you could do it January 1st. Um, a a every first of the month, you know, January 1st, February 1st, March 1st, every first of the month, or rather the 10th, because the number 10 is also the number one. Um, so what's today? Oh, the tenth is coming up. So in any event, when you have that time, you want to just, you know, you know, go to a, um, a homeless shelter or, you know, somewhere where you just give soup or give some soup to somebody, um, in the streets. And that is more so like providing the spirit realm with offerings and, you know, releasing or, you know, uh, you know, you know, when you have like, a, you know, bag lady, you're just basically giving them your baggage. Um, to the spirit realm. So that is the offering or the sacrifice that you can do. So go buy some gumbo soup. I don't know where you're going to buy it, at a restaurant or something, and just give it to the homeless. Um, and it will be well received. Yes. Yeah, actually, I, I just cooked some a few weeks ago. Oh, there you go. Oh, then if you if you got the, oh, so then, yeah. That's, so then that's why it's coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 You still got some left? Uh, oh no, that, that's long. <laughs> See, that's long gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whenever I do cook it, it's, you know, it don't last for like a day. That's it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. So, next time you do it, you know, next time you prepare it or whatnot, probably January 1st. Um, you know, which is, you know, within the alignment of the so the, the winter solstice. Um, you know, you can, you can provide that. Oh, well. Is, do it get cold in Louisiana? 
January 1st over here in New York City is bleeding. So, it's cold. It's cold. So, but I, I'm just asking because, you know, they're, they're, your, your grandparents here is just saying, you know, to do the, that ritual, that offering, um, you know, in any event. And that will be like, you know, giving back to the spirit realm. Or because you don't have an altar, that is a form of a ritual that you can do. Okay. okay. And, and, I can tell you. Oh, this oh, okay. this session has this session has been recorded too. I recorded. It's recorded. Okay. Okay. So, so I'll send it to you. I don't know um, if someone recommended you or if you see my my videos, oh. but it's recorded. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, I think, uh, I came across you on, I see you did, you did an uh, interview with, I think, Bluefield on, uh, and Joel Benjamin, uh, channel. No, not Joel. Uh, Black, uh, Black Magic. Yeah, not Joel. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, you did one, uh, huh? I said, oh, okay, I, yeah. Yeah. I seen that. And when I seen that, uh, I just kind of looked you up on uh, YouTube and came across the videos, and I've seen a few of them. And once I seen the videos, I was like, well, I guess I'm going to get real reading, you know, because actually this is my actual first reading. Mm. Well, I feel this is my first reading. I, I kind of read like some those uh, California psychic people, but I don't really so. I don't know if those people are real psychic or not. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm a medium. I, I, I'm a medium. I'm uh, I'm a psychic medium. I'm not really a psychic, although I do have psychic abilities. But I don't provide yeah. psychic readings. I, I provide psychic medium readings. I prefer to just deliver messages to my, you know, to my clients from the spirit realm. I don't want to predict nobody's future. I just want to give you guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it gets tricky. Sometimes it gets tricky like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Mhm, mhm. But um, go, go ahead. Well, I do have one more question. Now, what about uh, finance? Like, what uh, do you think they say anything about that? Because uh, well, right now it's like I I got my own business right now, but kind of rough. You know, it's kind of, kind of rough right now. So what time? Yeah, they say anything about that? Well, remember what I told you? I saw what I, they showed me that you keep putting your hands in your pockets. Remember, oh, yeah. remember, yeah. I mentioned that to you uh, in terms of money, and that's how come you know we it came up with okay, well, what's up with your mate or who you spending this money on? <laughs> you know, um. Yeah. I mean, in terms of you being broke, that's not going to happen. I'm not feeling that that's going to happen. But what I did mention is, you know, you got to be on some type of budget. You know, something got to give. You got to do some type of sacrifice so that you can, you know, live comfortably. Because if you're the only person that's making this money, then you got to do it. Accord. You, can't, you can't overdo things. You know, you have to find that balance as a Libra. You got to find that balance, you know. Sometimes you just got to say no, you know, or you got to, you know, save up a little money or two, you know. But in any event, like I mentioned to you before, I already, I already mentioned the, the finance. Um, and, again, it's all, on, it's all on what you see for yourself or it's all on what you create. Um, you know, it's all on what you visualize because you are the creator of your own reality. Um, but I don't yeah. see, I don't see that you, you know, go, you know, bankrupt. But I, I, I would definitely, again, you know, spend my money or rather your funds on the necessary things. And, you know, getting your wife's or your children's mother hair done, nails done, everything did. 
that got to be second because she got to get a job if she want to do that, you know. Yeah. And I'm not saying not to, and I'm not, let me tell you, I'm not telling you not to treat your lo- your woman right because I'll be a fool. <laughs> you know, I'll be a fool. But I'm saying if you are the only one that is providing, you got to be on a budget because, again, I see your hands is always going inside of your pocket. So it's, it's more spending than needs to be done. Yeah. And and see, actually, at, at one point, you know, me and her was kind of going in hard about it. Yeah. About, you know, her going to work and everything. And then actually, I, I, I kind of gave up, you know. I kind of gave up and I was like, you know, forget it. You know, I was like, well, if she don't want to work, forget it, you know. And, and in the way, you know, it's, you know, right now things are kind of hard right now, but yeah. it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of putting a, putting an extra weight on my shoulders because you know, like man, you know, I know she can she can help me out a little bit, but no matter what I tell her, you know, it goes from one end out the other. And you know what? So I kind of I kind of gave up, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I know, cause come on, you don't wanna you don't wanna keep giving your energy, you know, you know. Your energy is being drawn to that. Come on, like, come on. It's too. It's it takes too much energy to fight, you know. Other than just to let go, like it 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 takes too much. And then you mad at her, and then y'all living in the same household, and then you know the kids is in between the middle. Of, come on, you don't. You know it, it, it it's too much. But um, I'm surprised because most Scorpios that I know, they get money. They all about money. Yeah. Like all about what's your October or November Scorpio? Yeah, uh, November, November the ninth. Ooh, that's my boo's birthday, <laughs> <laughs> and he gets money. Oh yeah. no, yeah, November the ninth, yeah. yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah. Right. Wow. But she was. Uh, his birthday is one of the oldest is like uh, November the 19th and the other one is November the 14th. Oh, so you got all Scorpio babies. Uh, uh, two. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, your sons, your sons will make up for your for their mother. Don't worry. Don't worry, brother. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> this this too <laughs> shall pass. Just you know. Keep yourself in higher spirit, you know, keep that purple light around you, you know, visualize also working with that throat chakra in terms of internal communication with yourself, you know, balancing your your own emotions, being truthful to yourself in terms of what it is that you want out of life Um, in any event. And, you know, just just shape shifting a little bit, you know, just shape shift, you know, and, and keep your scales balanced. Okay. okay, beloved. All right. Well, yeah, I so appreciate it. I, I need it. <laughs> yes, my love. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you for you know being patient with me, um, as well. You know, and um, I wish you well. This session again has been recorded. Now I normally put up, as you know, I have my videos online. Do you want this to be private, or you give me permission to upload it publicly? Uh, you can you can upload it. You can upload it. Okay. Yeah, and uh, and, you know, I I recommend a lot of people to you, you know. But, yes. You know, everything you say was all was all was, was on point, you know. So yes. I'm gonna for sure recommend a lot of people to you. Yes, thank you so much. And you can also, you know, um, give your feedback on whatever interview you saw me on, because I'm pretty sure. The feedback is crazy on that one or comments or whatnot. So, you know, you could do that as well. Okay, okay, okay yeah. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah. Thank you, Creator Bless. All right, thank you. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye.